In this video, we discuss different types of underlayment, which to choose for your project, and we'll talk about other products that go onto your roof as well, like radiant barriers and ventilated mats. Contractors will refer to installing underlayment as drying in a roof. This is important because you're basically putting that first layer of weather tightness on your building. Underlayment is installed on your roof deck, whether it's plywood or OSB or metal decking, and it's designed to keep water out while you're waiting to install the roof during installation and as a secondary defense after installation. In this video, we're learning about options for underlayments like felt, synthetic, and self-adhered underlayments, and even discuss some air gap and energy efficiency products like ventilated mat and radiant barrier. Felt paper has been used for decades and it's very common, especially with asphalt shingles. It most commonly comes in 15 pound or 30 pound options. Synthetic underlayment is a lighter, more durable choice that doesn't use petroleum as a base ingredient. Both felt paper and synthetic underlayments are mechanically attached, meaning they use something like staples or cap nails to be held in place. The third option is a self-adhered option, sometimes referred to as ice and water shield or peel and stick because it has an adhesive backing that allows it to be attached to the roof deck without the use of fasteners. They're made with similar materials as synthetic underlayments, but self-adhered underlayments are the most weather tight out of the three options when it's installed with proper laps. When it comes to standing seam metal roofing, it's always recommended that you use at least a synthetic underlayment and leave felt paper out of the conversation. Much of the choice between synthetic and self-adhered underlayments is based on your location. Some areas that have a temperate environment can use a synthetic in the field of the roof and a self-adhered underlayment around the perimeter and flashing zones. Using a self-adhered underlayment for the entire roof is a good choice when you need maximum weather tightness, such as low slope conditions or extreme weather environments, or if you have a commercial weather tight warranty installation, the manufacturer might require you to use a self-adhered underlayment. There are tons of underlayment manufacturers and products out there, and you can spend a lot of time searching through them all. What I've got here today and what Sheffield Metals recommends is shark skin underlayments. Their self-adhered underlayment is called Sharkskin Ultra SA, which we've talked about before. It sticks to the roof extremely well, holds up to a wide range of temperatures. It seals around fasteners during installation, has great walkability, and has excellent warranties, including a 50-year limited manufacturer's warranty and a 12-month UV exposure warranty. When you go to buy a roll of self-adhered underlayment, the standard roll size covers two squares, but some options out there come in rolls that cover up to 10 squares. Underlayments aren't the only thing that's installed underneath your metal. One option that could help cut energy costs is a radiant barrier. It's a shiny material that's designed to inhibit heat transfer through thermal radiation. Another option that can help cut energy costs is creating a thermal break by way of an air gap. There's a lot of products out there that can help you install an air gap underneath your metal roof, and we actually did a comparison video on some of those products with Matt Reisinger. I'll leave a link in the description for that video down below. One thing to note about the air gap, if you're trying to achieve eave to ridge airflow for above sheathing ventilation, you must have a minimum three quarter inch airspace between the metal and the decking. So if you're using the air gap for ventilation and not just a thermal break, make sure whatever product you're installing meets that requirement. Sharkskin does make a radiant barrier and ventilated dimple mat in addition to their other underlayment products that we mentioned earlier, like Sharkskin Ultra SA. Make sure you subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel so you don't miss the next video in our Standing Seam Metal Roofing Accessory Series. Comment down below with any questions, and as always, I'm Thad Barnett, and I'll catch you next time.